and welcome to my channel and from my little outfit today you might be able to tell what kind of video that I'm doing and I'm going to be doing a Disney tag that I found on YouTube and I'm not really sure who this tag originated from because the video that I found didn't have an originator so I'm either guessing that the person who posted it is the original poster or there's someone out there whose Disney tag is just floating around the internet with no credit so unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that. However, I absolutely love these questions and if anyone knows who the creator of this tag is, then just let me know. I'm going to link down below the video that I found of these questions, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be going to Disneyland in January, in the beginning of January, and I'm so, so excited. As you guys know, I absolutely love Disney. It's like my favorite thing and favorite place in the entire world and I've always loved Disney just like my entire life. I also had a Disney blog for a few years that was a little popular. I mean it had like around 5,000 followers and then I also have been running a Disney roleplay group on Tumblr for very very many years and yeah so I'm kind of like a Disney nerd. I absolutely love Disney as you can see. You can see little Kristoff in the background. Love him. Love uh that for me and I just love Disney so I figured this would be a really fun tag to do and I also am going to tag a ton of people down in the down bar and yeah so let's just get on to the tag because there are a lot of questions. Okay so the first question in this tag is a scene in a Disney movie you wish you could experience. So for me I think that would have to be the scene in Tangled where she is taken to the lanterns to see the lights in the sky by Flynn Rider or Eugene Fitzherbert, whichever one you want to call him. And I absolutely love that scene. It's completely, it's just so breathtaking and gorgeous. And I love the song. It's just such a good song. And Tangled is one of my all time favorite movies. So yeah, I just love that scene. And I think it'd be so much fun to actually see all of those lights and lanterns in real life. The second question is an unforgettable moment you've had in the parks. So I've had quite a few completely unforgettable moments and one of the ones I normally choose is when I met Ariel at Ariel's Grotto in Disneyland back when there actually was an Ariel's Grotto in Disneyland that's how old I am <laughs> and I went with my grandpa and I just had such a wonderful time and Ariel was so sweet to a very insecure little girl and that's normally the story that I go with but I just recently went to Disneyland and I finally got to meet Gaston and that was just a life goal for me. I got super obsessed with Gaston as a character, as an idea, <laughs> like way back in the day when I first started my Disney vlog. I just, I just became like super obsessed with him <laughs> and I love him and I can't explain why. I mean, I love villains. A lot of my favorite characters from Disney are villains like Prince Hans. I love a good sinister Disney villain that's also really handsome. That's just, I think that's just my, my taste, my style. And I finally got got to meet him and it was just so wonderful and magical and amazing and I probably could have cried. I honestly get so emotional every time I see these pictures because I just I love them. I just think they're so amazing and I don't even care that I look like a total potato, a total toe in those pictures. I just they are my treasures and I will love them forever. The third question is what non-Disney song slash, slash songs reminds you slash brings back memories of Disney and or the parks? That's a really easy question and that is definitely that One Republic song that oh this is gonna be a good life it's good life there you go good life by one republic that song was in a disney parks commercial like a few years ago i think this was probably back in maybe 2012 2011 ish and oh my gosh i literally remember listening to that song in my earbuds like at night on the rocket I'm honestly the worst at remembering this ride's name and Emma's probably screaming it at me 
from like her computer <laughs> like watching this video being like it's this it's this it's a rocket whatever and they're the little rockets that go in a circle <laughs> and i had my earbuds in listening to good life by one republic and i was sobbing because it was at night so all the lights were on it was so gorgeous and like good life was playing and it was just so emotional i feel like i've never actually gone to disneyland and not cried it's just it's i mean it's just a thing it's a thing i get super emotional i love disneyland the fourth question i'm gonna lose track of all these questions but the next question is when was the first time you went to a disney park and the first time that i ever went to a disney park i think was probably when i was around i want to say eight months old but i might have been either younger or older than that but i know that i was under a year old so i have actual like vhs proof of me going as a little tiny baby and there's this one part of the home video that was filmed at disneyland like of my first time there and my mom is holding me in her arms and she's getting off of the dumbo ride but the ride has like just almost stopped like it's not quite stopped it's still moving a little bit but she's already out of the ride and she has me in her arm she's just gone the ride was still kind of moving and so that is just it's hilarious to me like we watched that and I was like screaming being like oh my gosh you totally like just kept yeah I I could not believe it it was absolutely just insane just crazy so I they yeah. I think I was probably around like under a year old. The next question is, if you could choose any Disney character to be your best friend, who would you choose? And that's also a pretty easy question because I think that I would probably choose either Ariel or Rapunzel or even Belle. Like I, in my head, like my little head canon is that they're all BFFs and I would be BFFs with them. So it'd be like me, Belle, Ariel, and Rapunzel. And we just feel like a little BFF group. The next question is who are your favorite Disney princesses? And I think that's also an easy one to answer. Belle, Ariel, Rapunzel. Those are like my all time favorites, my top three. I love them so much. I think my all time favorite though is definitely Belle. I just like really relate to her, obviously with my many, many books, my love of reading, it's just pretty obvious. But I also really identify with Rapunzel and Ariel. I just feel like they all have sort of like the similar spirit of just adventure and wistfulness and wanting to belong somewhere. And I just just love that because I can totally relate to them just like on that personal level I could just really relate so yeah definitely Belle, Ariel, and Rapunzel. Next question is name a scene slash moment in any, any Disney movie that never fails to make you cry. I think I, there are so many scenes that make me cry in Disney movies but the one that comes to my mind like automatically is the God Help the Outcast scene in The Hunchback of Notre Dame and it's specifically that part where she sings please help my people the poor and downtrod I thought we all were the children of God like that that entire song just like makes me cry and oh my gosh like it's just so sad and so beautiful and I'm like not even a very religious person but it's just like it hits like a spot and it just oh that that song really gets to me that whole movie really gets to me I just love the hunchback of Notre Dame the next question is what is the first Disney movie you remember seeing and that's another easy one because I vividly remember seeing Hercules in the movie theater and I even asked my mom I'm like did I ever go see Hercules in the movie theater because I have like this vivid memory of it and she's like yes you did you were like two years old or like two or three years old and I just remember seeing that movie and it was like my first one I'd ever seen in the movie theater and I love Hercules it's such a good movie so I'm definitely glad that that was like my first Disney movie. The next question is what is your favorite Disney movie and that is a super difficult question to answer. Surprisingly these have all been really easy so far but this one is super difficult because I kind of have different favorites in different categories. Like my favorite princess movie is Beauty and the Beast. My favorite like non-princess movie is usually Hercules I say you know it, it depends sometimes I say Hercules other times I say like Hunchback of Notre Dame or whatever but usually it's Hercules so it's like kind of a tie between those two and then I have some favorites from like before the Renaissance and I feel like those are kind of separate so it's hard to say like my one true favorite but I'm going to go with Beauty and the Beast because it is kind of like an all-around favorite 
and I do love Hercules, but just like in a different way. So it's, it's hard, it's complicated. But I mean, who can really choose their favorite Disney movie? That's just so hard to me, like I don't get it. The next question is who is your favorite Disney villain? And I kind of talked about this earlier in the video, but I have two favorite Disney villains and those are Prince Hans and Gaston. Two of my favorites, both very handsome, both very devious, and I love them to freaking death. I just, I lose my freaking mind for both of them. And if you don't believe me, here is my Prince Hans doll that sits on top of my bookshelf. Here he is, he is so gorgeous, and also he is damaged. I broke the back of his jacket, but <laughs> I love him. I got this from a friend like years and years and years ago, a friend from like my Disney blog days. <laughs> so I love him, he's so cute. Just like look at his little face, he's so adorable. And I love Santino Fontana, like I love him. He's amazing as Greg in Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, or he was amazing because that's past tense. But I love Prince Hans and I also love Gaston. I would love to have a Gaston doll, but I just haven't found one that I like. So whatever, I think he's just like too difficult to put into doll form. <laughs> the next question is what is your least favorite Disney movie? And that definitely goes to The Lion King. I'm just not a big fan of it. Like I'll watch it and I'll find it, you know, interesting and entertaining, but it's honestly probably my least favorite Disney movie, unfortunately. I feel like it's just too overrated and I'm not a big fan of the music. So I know, I'm sure you guys are unsubscribing as I speak, but it's true, I know. I do really appreciate the movie because it is a Hamlet retelling and I love Hamlet retellings. And I do actually like the second movie, but the first one is a little too overrated for me. I just, I can't get with it. It's not that, mm, it's, mm, I just don't like it. The next question is, what is your favorite Disney song? That's such a difficult question because it, it's, there's so many layers to it. It's like, well, what's my favorite Disney song to sing? And then there's also, what's my favorite Disney song to listen to? And then like, what's the quote unquote best Disney song? Like, that's just like such a difficult question to answer because there's so many possible answers. I think I will have to go with just like a classic favorite from my first favorite Disney movie, which was Cinderella. And that would be So This Is Love. And it's just such a beautiful song and I love to sing it and I love to listen to it. It's just gorgeous. And it has like such beautiful, amazing lyrics. And it's just like, so this is love. Mm -hmm. So this is love. So this is what makes life divine. I'm on the glow. Mm -hmm. And now I know. So yeah, I think that So This Is Love from Cinderella is probably my favorite Disney song, which is really weird, but it's just, that's the one that I feel right with going with. So we're gonna say that one. The next question is what Disney character slash characters has your personality or has your dream personality? So in high school, I was told that I remind people a lot of Ariel and I don't disagree, but I feel like that's a little weird. I feel personally like my personality is a little more like Belle mixed with maybe Rapunzel. Like I feel like I have a lot of Belle's sort of like dryness and like just she can kind of, I don't really know. Like it's so difficult. I feel like it's really hard for me to kind of, you know, I don't like categorize myself. Um, I'm not really sure. Like. I, I honestly have no idea. Like, I feel like maybe my dream personality would be something like, hmm. hmm. I'm trying to go through all the princesses because I relate way more to the princesses than anyone else. Um, I feel like my personality or the my dream personality would probably be Cinderella. I just feel like I'm not as strong as she is and I'm not as like, I, I don't have the same perseverance that Cinderella has 
she is like I cannot even imagine going through what she went through and like surviving that and actually like being a positive person after going through that abuse and that servitude and all that kind of stuff like that like I feel like we give Cinderella such a bad rep but like honestly I don't I feel like most of us would completely break under that sort of circumstance that she's in and we're, none of us are any, are even close to as good as Cinderella, like as a person. So I would totally want to be more like Cinderella. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know, like maybe leave down in the comments, like what you think my personality is from my videos, like who I most resemble, like personality wise. So like leave that down below. I, I, I don't know. I feel like I'm really bad at like doing that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to try. The next question is if you could change any scene in a Disney movie, what would it be and why? This isn't really like a changing an existing scene for me. For me, it's like adding in a scene. <laughs> and I have always dreamt of having Prince Hans have his own song, like a true villain song. And he doesn't get one of those in Frozen, which I feel is a flaw in the storytelling in Frozen, which honestly, I could make an entire video on the flaws of Frozen. But this is one of the biggest ones and I feel like he really, really needed a villain song and I get it that we're not supposed to know that he's a villain, whatever. But I feel like it would have been so nice and there's so much lost with him not having a villain song and everyone, if you are like even remotely in the Disney fandom on Tumblr or anywhere else, it's always a song from Chess and I'm, I'm, I'm blanking on it right now. I know how it like begins, it's a who needs a dream? Who needs ambition? That song. I can't remember what it's called, but I'm gonna leave the title right here. It'll say it later. So it's from Chess, the musical Chess, but it's perfect for Prince Hans. Like literally go listen to that song. It is so perfect for him. He needed a song like that. It's like perfect. Like he needed, he deserved a good villain song. Like Gaston got a villain song, but Prince Hans needs a villain song. And the very last question of this tag is, if you had to get stuck on any ride in any Disney park for more than 30 minutes, what would you want it to be? And I've actually gotten stuck on a ride at a Disney park, and that was the Aerosmith roller coaster back in, I don't know what it's called, MGM Studios, MGM whatever. Um, that's what it used to be called, but it's called something different, like Hollywood Studios or something like that. Um, we got stuck on that for, I, th I don't know if it was 30 minutes, but it was a long time. And that was an inside roller coaster and we were up pretty high. So we had to like walk down a bunch of staircases to like actually get off the ride. Um, but I feel like if I had to get stuck on any ride um, that doesn't normally get stuck, I would say the Haunted Mansion, but that gets stuck all the time. Um, I would probably say, <laughs> and I don't want it to be something scary. I want it to be something fun. So I'm going to go with, um, I want to get stuck on the Peter Pan ride. I love that ride and we don't get to go on it too much because it's always such a long line and no one ever wants to wait in it. But I would love to get stuck on the Peter Pan ride when you're going through the room that is over London. That is oh my gosh, that freaking scene in that ride is beautiful, beautiful. Like just the, oh my gosh, like it's just freaking gorgeous. And I would love to be on that part because you're in the floating, uh, because you're in the floating pirate ship and it is sailing over London at night. There's stars everywhere. It's gorgeous. And oh my God, it would just be so much fun. I would love to get stuck on that ride. Okay, so that was the entire Disney tag that actually didn't take as long as I expected it to because there were so many questions, so many answers, and so many long answers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tag. I really love getting to talk about Disneyland and Disney in general. And if you guys want more Disney videos, I would love to make some like just like experience videos about Disneyland, about Walt Disney World. I've been to both resorts, so I kind of know both sides of the argument of is Disneyland better or is Walt Disney World better? And I know both of those sides because I've been to both of those. So if you want more Disney videos, I would love to make them. I mean, that won't be like a huge part of my channel, but I feel like they'd be a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys are like interested in that stuff. 
And if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, go ahead and follow my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Goodreads. Also, maybe my blog. I don't really post there a lot, but I mean, like, just go follow it. It'd be really fun. I hope you all have a magical rest of your day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!